Hey guys, what's up? So what is a meter disconnect combo? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one today. Now the 2020 code and after is gonna require a disconnect outside of every home, okay? On every service, and it's gonna have to be re required to be outside. If you're under the 2017 or the 2014, you may have just a meter out here, and that's still okay for now. But let's go ahead and look at this piece of equipment. So starting at the top, this is going to be where your conductors come from the utility. Then this is gonna be where your neutral lands. And remember, I taught you in a previous video to put a pair of channel locks on that when you tighten it down and torque it so it doesn't move or break. So this is where your service conductors go. This is where your meter plugs in. And if you've never seen a meter, I'll make a video on what an electrical meter is and what it looks like. This is where your meter will plug in. And then when you come down here, this is the main breaker for the structure. These are your two load lugs coming out of the breaker. And then down here are places that you can add breakers for later if your model has that. So if you wanted to pop out and do an HVAC or pop out and you know wire your garage. Right here is where you establish the neutral and also the grounding electrode conductors and the equipment ground going inside, which is right here on this cable. Remember, in the, like the video I taught you before, this is where you're going to establish your grounding electrode system and bond all your neutrals and grounds. And then anytime after this point, you're going to separate them. And I have a video on when and why to separate grounds and neutrals. So I hope you guys got a good look today at what a meter disconnect combo is. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.